Okay, here are my ZV515s that will not fit in my new car. This is the very first step of reconing them into 12s. And we're going to try to recone ourselves. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's do it. Oh, this is painful. No more 15s. Oh my god. It is like physically painful to watch this. You're a bad recording person. <laughs> Just trying to get the moment of truth. There it is. We getting any rub? No? Um, uh, maybe a little bit, but not a whole bunch of me. Mm. No more 15. Who's gonna be? With that glue in there. Yeah, this, this magnet for right here. Yeah, I tried to set something down next to these yesterday that was metal. And they stuck to the side of them. I wasn't thinking. Okay. We're taking out all the bolts. I'm sure that'll be a long, slow process. It is new recone day. And I am so excited. Look at this big box from sundown. What did you give me the box? You got it? Yeah, you can hold that. Don't cut yourself. I will probably cut myself. It's an option. Okay, so we should have two recones for ZV5. We have 15. We're turning them into 12 so I can fit them in my new car. What kind of car you bought? Um, a Lincoln MKC. And I know it's really painful to turn a perfectly good 15 into a 12. I mean, I'd like to have the 15, but they will not fit. I mean, I feel like we're going to need a shoehorn to fit the two. 12. Oh my god, I'm so excited! They're so pretty! Okay. Looks like both, both dust caps are in there. There's a drop in. They smell like voice core. They do, they smell new. A glue, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is. Okay, let's see what else we got. Both gaskets, brand new and pretty. And we got these right from Sundowns. We know there's a lot of vendors out there that you can, can order from. Um, Sundown doesn't really offer ordering on their website, but if you call their contact number, tell them what you want. You gotta turn it. Yep. Okay. You're back. Are you going to better link it together? Yeah. But. Yeah. So I don't know if you heard because we were having technical difficulties. We are definitely not camera professionals. We're just basic. But uh, we got these directly from Sundown. And I know there's a lot of vendors that sell them. And we use vendors sometimes. And uh, we like the shops that are out there. It's kind of ugly. But, um, but I know Sundown doesn't really offer ordering on their website, but if you call them and talk to them, you can tell them what Ooh, you need. Like oh, I don't like that either. How the heck are you going to send me a bent up voice coil? Mm-hmm. I guess it's going to be okay. We're not going to send it back, but anyways, I think it saves you a little money if you order directly from Sundown. Oh, new basket. 
They look good. Shiny. Pretty new. Small. I'm excited. I can't wait to get these in my car. And with my goodie bag. My new push terminals. And a lot of hardware. I gave you new push terminals. Are we smart enough to figure this out? Why wouldn't we be? I really hope so. Okay. We'll be back reconing. We are on to the next step of reconing these ZB5s, 15s and the 12s. We've got this wiped off. Spacer bar is wiped off. New basket. And we're going to bolt them down. Doesn't matter which way you record it. Just sideways. These are a little bit different because the one on this one had a logo on the side of it, and this one does not. So I guess I'm going to put it like that. Are we pausing it? Yeah, you can pause. Okay, so the basket and the spacer are down. I'm trying to get all the bolts started, which don't seem to be going really well. It would have been nice if Sundown had sent new bolts. But they didn't, so that's okay. We have the old ones. Okay. And we uh, blew out the inside of the motor, you know, made sure nothing was in there. We had it taped off after we tore it down so nothing would fall in it. And these take an Allen wrench. Okay, so that's it. We're going to put these down all the way really tight, and then we're going to get to the drop-ins. Okay, next step in reconing the ZB5 15 to a 12. I have the new 12 basket on here. It's bolted down. The spacer's in here. I have this taped off. The paint on this is pretty shiny, so I'm going to rough it just a little bit with some um, sandpaper here and where the spider is going to go <coughs> and I'm going to connect the press terminals before we glue the spiders and I don't want the washers or the bolts to fall down in there. So that's what we're doing first. And I'm not trying to take this down to the aluminum. I'm just trying to make it rough. One post terminal, and we're just kind of using these needle nose pliers. I'm sorry, my hand is in the way. We're so bad at this. We're using these to tighten up that center, that center screw. And we got one more for the other side. Live. Live to the right. Ground to the left. Comes in through there. No left. I always say it backwards. I'm sorry. I don't know my left from my right. Live to the left. Ground to the right. And you need a washer. Oh shit. Yeah. Don't get them close to the magnet. It's, it it's in there. Right. It's on there. It? It's really hard. Every tool you use becomes magnetized as soon as you get it down yeah. close to What's this it? magnet. Oh, I had it in my hand. I already lost it. It's down there. Oh. You did not lose it. It went all the way down the ball. ball. You're kidding. Yeah, it went down in there for real. We, dro <laughs> we just dropped the nut down there. Okay. Are you recording? So yeah, we did get it out. Um, it was not fun 
or easy. And I thought I had it taped really well. I did not. So I recommend making sure you have it taped really well so you don't lose anything down there. I'm a beast. I'm good at it. <laughs> as it soon as you that. get them started, you're good. But man, getting them on there and getting them started without the magnet ripping them away. Um, it's delicate. I appreciate the people that do this all the time. And we're just using those needle nose pliers to get it all the way tight. So our push terminals are in there tight, both sides, and I'm going to drop the recone in and reshem it. And one of the things that I think was cool on the spider is that where every frame part should be, there's a little cutout, which just makes it a little bit easier when you go to drop it in to line it up. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here, and when we actually go to glue it, the tinsel leads will be where the push terminal's in, and we'll make sure it's all lined up for right now. We're going to put the shims in and we're using these sheets of plastic. Now, I don't even know where you got these, but somewhere. One all the way down. Then I'm going to offset where the opening is. going around making sure the opening is at a different spot in the circle every time so it can be as even as it possibly can be. Okay. whole drop in with the shim still in it and it to the side and then I want to show you guys the glue we're using and I know somebody's gonna say something we're using DC glue on my sundown but when I ordered these drop-ins from sundown sundown doesn't sell the glue they did recommend some CA glue but um we already knew that DC had it because we run DC too so you need for a full recon CA glue. This is just for the spider and it takes an activator to work. There's the activator. And then rubber glue. And these are so easy because they're labeled. It literally says caps around and CA glue spider landing. So we already have a big bottle that we were using on the other recon that we did yesterday. Ah. Oh. I'm going to try to put gloves on and not get this glue on me. And uh, we are doing this in our kitchen. We're definitely not in a garage. But I would say you definitely need to open the windows when you put this glue down. It's pretty smelly. It um, doesn't seem like the smell lasts a really long time, but it is pretty strong when it comes out. You definitely don't want to puff this glue. I'm going to put a bead down, and I am so far from a professional. Um, this is my second recon ever. Why'd you go that way? Instead of going another way. I don't know. This is the way I went.
I'm trying to make sure it's even, not too much and not too little. I'm sure that people that do this all the time know exactly how much. I have no clue. It could be too much. Hopefully, it's not too little. I don't want my spider to come up. Okay, I think that's what it is. So, we're going to drop this down carefully with the shims. I'm going to fold this up first. Just so I can see more, I'm going to fold this around up gently. Yeah, sure I am. There it goes. Okay. Tensile leads have to be where push terminals are. Can you see in there? That's going to be this frame. I'm going to push down on the shims, and I'm going to use these little cutouts to help me line up right where it needs to be on the frame. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to make sure my shims are pushed down all the way from the top. They seem to be in there good. Twist that a tiny bit. And then for starters, I'm just going to push this down with my fingers. Make sure it looks lined up. Before you spray the activator, I mean, you could move this a tiny bit if you had to. Like, it'll, it'll the glue will let you do that. So I'm just going to push down with my fingers. And I've got some coming up, some glue is coming up on top of the spider, which we want to happen. And I'm going to take our big bottle of activator, and I'm going to spray. on it for a little bit. Be gentle with these clamps. I mean, they are pretty serious. We don't want to work a hole in the spider. We're not going to leave these clamps for a super long time, but for a while. to it. I'll tell you that. And we just picked up these clamps at like Home Depot and they were super cheap. There's like a big pack of them for eight bucks. it for a second. We're going to leave this first layer of glue to set up. Then we're going to run another little kind of bead of glue around the top of the spider. Um, might not even really need it a whole lot, but I'll check it, see if it looks like there's any spots where it didn't come up and cover the top. And then we got to connect the tensile beads and then glue this around and then the dust caps. It looks pretty good, but I would, I would go around it again. I think yeah. you did pretty good. I would go around it. I don't, it, I know. I don't really know that it needs. I would at least try to cover this, this first ring right here. You see that first ring? Mm-hmm. I would at least yeah, try to get glue up to right that. There. I would just try to get glue up. So that way you know you got enough glue. You should have enough glue to hold it down. Can you hold that up so I have the light from the camera more? Yeah. I don't want to like completely douse this thing in glue. I think on the other one I was a little glue happy. 
trying not to be as glue happy today. I really think if this was a 15 it would be easier, but it's not. It actually looks pretty good over here, but yeah, I'm gonna spread that out, but that doesn't look that bad. I probably do not need that much glue. That looks really good too over there. I will put more. Okay. Let's see if I can get it. Just now. It's definitely a lot easier everywhere I can fit in from the side and then everywhere that the basket is. Oh yeah, that was a lot of glue. It's just not as easy. I guess we're airing on the side of caution. Oh yeah, that was a lot of glue too. Okay right on top of this. So I'm not saying that this is a professional bead by any means, but I put more glue down on top of the spider. And then I saw a lot of people online, which is basically how I'm learning how to do this, go in with their gloved finger and smooth it out. Um, I had trouble with that yesterday. The glove got messy. So I used a little arts and crafts popsicle, popsicle stick to kind of smooth it out. And this CA glue is really cool in the way that you have some time to work with it, to mess with it. Yeah, it's not professional by any means, but it's gonna hold. Um, until you spray it with actuator, activator, you've got some time. Okay, so I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna go back in and spray all the glue. I just laid on top of the spider. And it, it's really kind of liquidy and runny and you can maneuver it a little bit. And as soon as you hit it with that activator, it is only a matter of a few seconds and it is hard. I don't think from what I've read online that it's completely cured in a few seconds. Like it still needs time to dry, but that activator basically like sets it so it can dry and it will stay in place while it's curing. And I'm gonna wipe off the little top of my glue, put the lid on it, and I bet there's another, this is like, I think we, a four ounce bottle? Maybe it's an eight ounce bottle, I don't know, but I bet there's at least one more subwoofer in there. All right, you can pause it. So we, we just laid that bead, that top bead, and sprayed it with activator, and I mean, no longer than it took me to throw the paper towel I had in the trash, I mean, it won't come off on the glove. It's, I'm not saying it's ready to take out and put in a box and beat it tonight, but it's just really nice. Like that just kind of sets that glue and you can work around it. We're gonna put down um, these tinsel leads. Yep. Okay. Put your Allen key in it. That's how you were doing it yesterday. Try not to drop it on the floor and not be able to find it. I that was all my goal was at the end. 
Oh shit, what? One side, done side. Oh, it looks good. Nice work. Both sides are done. Tensile leads are down. Woot woot. Let's check the tensile leads. Okay. Okay. So tensile leads are down, bolted down. Now we have the rubber glue for the caps around. I love that DC labels this. And like I said, this is only my second one ever. Yesterday, um, yeah, all right, take two. So I felt like I had a lot of glue on my surround yesterday. And I'm gonna try not to use as much glue as I did yesterday. But on uh, no guarantees. Oh yeah, that was the screw hole. I wanted to go around that. I thought it was one of the holes that was filled in. Feels like it's not enough glue, but from yesterday's experience, it's gotta be. Okay, does anywhere look like it needs more? I mean, the very last thing I want to happen is for my surround to come up. More. Pause it. I'm going to attempt to hold this down by myself and not make a mess. I don't want to 
probably won't work and we'll probably have to pause it so I can have some extra hands. Yeah. So I'm still a little bit of a glue <laughs> user. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put little clamps, smaller clamps on here. Yeah, yesterday I got it in the screw holes too. I thought maybe today I wouldn't. Not the case. Um, I don't know, actually, if you guys have experience with this, let me know what you think. I'm hoping we're going to drill a screw through it anyway. So hopefully that's okay. I think you got them way too close. I like them close. I want a nice, even seam. You can hold it until I get them all off. So clamps are on there all the way around, and I will leave those clamps set overnight and um, just take them off in the morning and put the... Uh, the gasket down on it but I think as far as the spider going it's probably an okay time now to take the shims out and glue down the dust cap so I'm gonna take those out got some glue on there where did my yeah what's it look like too much on it until it has more time to set up but it sounds good all right pause that real quick so we're gonna put down the dust cap and he just roughed this up with some sandpaper for me i'm gonna try my best to get the sundown logo parallel to the tinsel leaves does that look straight to you from the side, kind of this way a little bit more, I think. Like that? This one also, I would Should go that you? way. Which way? Up, so turn it. Clockwise or yeah, turn it? Go yeah. the other way. Turn it. No, turn the whole thing. Like this? Like this? I mean, that's not straight. Put it, put it back down. Okay. Now turn it down to your right. Don't turn the whole bunch, just a little bit. And move your hands. Oh, this one I can't see. I think that's rough. <laughs> Great. I don't have glue on there yet. Okay, so since Sundown has this handy dandy little line, I'm going to put my glue down here. Um, which I realize that's hard to see. And yesterday I used a lot and it ran everywhere. Today I'm going to attempt to use less. Probably won't. It'll probably still run everywhere. Yeah. Definitely doing that. This, uh, the rubber glue is different. Like, it really is rubbery. It comes out really liquidy like the CA glue. But then, great. As soon as it gets out into the air, it almost starts to gel. Like, like rubber, I guess that's why it's rubber glue. It's crazy because I want to have enough, but I don't really want so much that it runs clear down like it's doing. We're going to call it. Okay. Sundown audio. 
Can you see if you think I'm straight? I can't see you. Okay. Um. All right. I'm Mm-hmm. It'll drive me crazy if I can see the line. That looks pretty good, though. I mean, I... Okay. That's one. Okay. So I'm gonna peel my tape off without moving it. And then, really, from everybody we fall in line, you just want something heavy on top of it. I'm gonna use this. And a little glass of dish. Make sure it's not moving when I put that on there. And, oh, oh, we have a fire extinguisher in the kitchen. That's heavy. Okay, a bit precarious maybe, but it's on there. It's heavy. It's pushed down. And I'm going to leave that all night. I'm going to leave the clamps all night. I'm going to leave the fire extinguisher on there all night. It's like 6.30 now, so we'll come back first thing in the morning and uh, just pull the weight off the top, pull the clamps off, put the gasket, in, gasket down, and this is done. Like, it's it's reconed. Hopefully it's going to be installed in two days, three days. It's the next morning, and I'm going to take the weight off the top of here. And the clamps. Hopefully if I do more of these over time, I'll become better at laying the glue. Hopefully I don't have to do a whole lot more of them. But um, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with where the dust cap is. I definitely don't think my surround is going to come off. So I'm going to put the gasket on here and it will be done. And that's it. My gasket is on. I now have two ZV-512s.